1992, um, Hang Long began to uh, invest in China. I think that perhaps more than any other things have uh, been transformational for the company. We started in early 1990s, 92, 93, to uh, enter into the mainland market. By 1999, 2000, we thought that we made the right decision. So in 2004, we began to go outside of Shanghai and into many second tier cities. Given the influx of mainland competition into Hong Kong, so where do you see the future of the <coughs> property business, both in Hong Kong and in the mainland? Hong Kong is a free economy, as open an economy as any other in the world. And over the last 30 some years that I've been watching, there were always outsiders wanting to play in our market. Most of them have not been that successful. The initial failure may cause some people to leave, but there may also be some who would want to stay. And then there's always new players. I think that depends as much on mainland policy. So why is the public service so important to you, and what do you hope to achieve? That was 1991-92. Around the same time, or perhaps a little bit before, Hong Kong was facing the prospect of um, returning, returning to China in 1997. And I came to the conclusion that the world has changed a lot. And in order for the world to have a better future, it is important that the East and the West should understand each other better. It is important that there should be bridges of understanding between the East and the West. And for somebody like myself, born and raised in Hong Kong, educated uh, overseas in America, and I began to be very interested in this matter of biculturalism. Some of us were privileged to have the opportunity to become bicultural or even multicultural. And so perhaps we can help bridge the gap of understanding between the East and the West. That will be a very meaningful thing.